Hi, I'm Colton, and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to animate a chain in Toon Boom. So I came up with this technique when I was working on cleanup on the uh, first episode of Hell of a Boss, and fellow cleanup animator Crescent, she was doing this shot that had a uh, like the spiral telephone cord, and it was kind of just moving around the screen a lot. It was like these. And I was like, that's gonna be a pain. So I looked at the thing and realized that in the animation, it was just this trail. And if you could map this spiraling pattern to that trail, uh, life would be a lot easier. I created a chord texture, had to do a little trial and error to get the thickness and the little loop right. It worked. This technique can be used for like any number of things, I'm sure. Uh, chain was the next one I thought of because um, I had flashbacks to cleaning up a chain on the has-been pilot. Mm, Let's get started. First up, you're gonna need to make a chain texture. When we import this into Toon Boom, it's gonna be repeating from left to right along a line. So just make sure this edge looks nice when it's over on that side. And the other thing is that you're going to be saving your texture as a PNG because you do need the transparency. Whatever is transparent, is going to be masking your line in Toon Boom. Once you're in Toon Boom, go ahead and select the pencil tool, lay down your lines for animation. You're all done, you're happy with what you got. Select your line, go over to the Tool Properties window, scroll on down to the bottom where you'll see textures, and there's going to be a little plus symbol to the right of that. Hit that, find your texture to import, hit open, and then you'll see it at the bottom of the list. Uh, so I'm gonna select my chain A texture, and there we go. It's already applied and looking pretty nice. And you'll notice that I started with a thicker line preemptively, and that's because Toon Boom will automatically apply the texture to match the width. Uh, there are a couple of things to point out with how this works, because there are some kind of flaws with it. Uh, number one, if you have tapering going on, it can get a little funky. It's it kind of a stretched look to it, because it'll look good in one place, but then not so much the other. The other thing is that if you have really kind of twisty paths, it's not perfect, so maybe that, you just gotta kind of erase that area, do a little custom job in there. But uh, it works pretty well for most of the angles you'll have going on. So those are two things to look out for, the tapering and the, the bends in the area. And then also you'll notice that this texture kind of gets cut off at the beginning and end. And I'd like it to be a little different or maybe I even want to stretch it out. Well, if you go up to the top left and select the Edit Gradient Slash Texture tool, select your line, and you'll see a blue bounding box come up at the start of your line. And there is where you can adjust however you want. But you know what? I bet we could even just use a cutter effect on that. Let me see, drawing, make a new one there. We'll go ahead the big brush and I'm gonna want to cut off that and it's on the original line add a cutter effect open her up bring trying to like that there you go so look at that the texture applied to pencil lines it can totally be cut up uh, and masked within Toon Boom. Uh, and you know what else it can do? Is you can select it 
and change the color. Yeah, uh, also blue, red, white, whoa. <laughs> uh, and now you might be thinking, all right, that's great, but I want to have an outline on my line, on my chain. Uh, well, cool. <laughs> Just make an outline texture. And do the same thing where you import that into Toon Boom. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put our outline on top of our fill layer. So we'll select this guy. We'll copy in. I'm going to paste it onto my color layer. But you could just duplicate the drawing layer when you're done animating and such. And then the top one, I'll select. And I'll change the texture to chain B. And I'll change the color to black. And let me enhance. Voila. <laughs> There's your outline. And, you know, no limits to this. I mean, you'll have to wrangle multiple layers, but let's say you wanted a highlight on your chain. Just make a third layer on top of your repeating pattern, and then you'll be able to have like a little glint of something on there. Or just a whole texture could be applied to it, like a like it's rusty or has welding kind of marks on it where the metal is bound together. Like, there's a lot you could do with it. So I hope this helps. And if you do end up using it, I'd love to see. So share below. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.